Hello viewer and welcome to your favorite news magazine on Chan 2022 Total Energy is the Spotlight, sponsored by the African Union of Broadcasting, AUB. We opened this edition with Algeria and Senegal that validated their semi-final qualification tickets. We shall equally take you to Ghana, Accra, where we shine the spot on the country's tourist destination, which leave the visitors spellbound. On the sidelines of Chan, why not take a walk on the Sablet d'Alger, where there is an influx of tourists, families and friends who visit the site, especially during this period of football jamboree. Those are top stories. Stay clued on your screen. I'm Gladys Tata for presentation. In the Chan 2022 highlights, get the high point of the dramatic victory for Algeria as hosts reach semi-finals after a highly entertaining encounter with Cote d'Ivoire, which ended with a 1-0 victory. Senegal equally validated its qualification ticket after a 1-0 win on Mauritania. Jennifer Asimwe tells us more. In the first match of the day, Algeria continued on the victory path. The approximately 40,000 spectators present at the Nelson Mandela Stadium in Algiers watched a spectacular match right from its start. The Algerian team was reduced to 10 players from the 12th minute of the first half when the main goalkeeper was expelled after the video assistant referee VAR intervention by the Mauritian referee Abdel Aziz Bo for having touched the ball with his hand outside his area. Cote d'Ivoire had several opportunities but failed to convert them into goals. Despite Algerians' pressure, the elephants managed to resist the attacks. The goal that qualified Algeria for the semi finals comes at minute 90, plus five given by the referee with a penalty kick, converted into a goal by Abdul Aziz Siahoun after consulting the VAR. Algeria will face in the semi-finals the winner of the game between Niger and Ghana. In the second match, Senegal won the debut against neighboring Mauritania by a goal to nil, despite the weak performance of the Lions team. Mauritania deserved more than this defeat suffered in the Lamine Kamara's penalty kick 34 minutes after the video assistant referee, the Mauritarians dominated the entire game, putting the Lions team in their last stronghold without converting opportunities into goals. With this victory, Senegal is waiting for the winner of the match between Madagascar and Mozambique. Out of the football turf, let us take a stroll to the beautiful Sablet d'Alger, where travelers, families and friends visit on a daily basis to relax, have fun and enjoy the cool breeze from the Mediterranean Sea. Jennifer Asimwe with more. Located at the Mediterranean Sea in Hussein Day, about 5 kilometers east of downtown Algiers, in the heart of the Bay of Algiers, Sublet d'Alger in English, the Sublet of Algiers, established by the government of Algeria in March 2016, is a magnificent park covering a surface area of 20 hectares. We are at the Sublet Amusement Park here in Algiers, one of the leisure settings when you visit Algeria. Please make it a point to visit this place because of the amazing activities they are in. It is indeed one of the top tourism destinations in Algiers and Algeria at large. The spot is a cocktail of activities right from the toddlers bouncing castles, snacks, sea viewing beaches to mention but a few. Among the crowds we found at the spectacular park is Mohammed. He kills two birds with one stone from his visit. Apart from visiting the sublet to enjoy the cool breeze from the sea, he uses the same opportunity to make money. The middle-aged man has put up a small tea and snacks business to come to other visitors' rescue from the extreme coldness at the sea. Uh, the place is quiet, inviting, and the seaside terrace love it. I sell teal, which is made wonderfully based on dry herbs, and it's art paper mint that adds the natural taste. It boils about 50 minutes, 
and it's saved. People like it. This is a good place to sell. I wish Africa all welcome to Chan 2022. You can say uh, 500, 1000, yeah, yeah. In the summer too, we have too many people come to, to sublet and enjoy uh, from the beginning of the day to the last uh, minute. And uh, there is too many activities in here. You can see we have uh, Sabi Park, we have uh, the big screen over there. We have too many people come to sublet and we are very proud. And uh, thank you for coming and uh, having me. A few days to the seventh edition of the African Nations Championship Chan 2022 kickstart this January to date, Sublet d'Alger has experienced more vibe, aiming at getting a feel of what it has to offer due to its strategic geographical location, tight security, high maintenance, the wide and safe parking lot, and enough relaxation space. The site was chosen by the local organizing committee of the championship to host some activities of this continental tournament. I'm very proud to see my country like this and uh, we are welcoming all the Africans to come to Algeria. And Sablet is a great park, too many uh, happy families mm -hmm. and uh, security is doing her, her job. And uh, one, two, three, Vila, Vila, Algeria. <laughs> That's all I have. Thank you very much. Sublet d'Alger is a popular leisure destination for both Algiers residents and non-residents. To get to the site, one has to access its iconic entrance just a few meters from the Grand Mosque of Algiers or through the Ued Harash ramp. There are many beautiful sites to visit in Ghana that no tourist can resist. Talk of the Boti Falls, lakes, dams, and botanical gardens, the country can boast of at least 19. Follow us to discover some like the Kentapo Waterfalls, Kuzu Slave Cave, and Bono Manso Vessel and others in this report, courtesy of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. The Bono East Regional Minister, Mr. Kwesi Adujan, has appealed to investors to exploit the untapped tourism potentials in the region. On a working visit to some underdeveloped tourist sites in the region, Mr. Adujan said private sector involvement is key to making Ghana a preferred tourist destination. The minister says government is focused on creating an enabling environment for investors. Players in the Bono East region have described the area's tourism industry as promising and showing great potential growth. The Kentampa Waterfalls alone attracted more than 23,806 visitors in 2019, with majority being expatriates. Apart from the famous Kentampa Waterfalls, there are other potential tourist sites, namely Kunsu Slave Caves, Kunsu Waterfalls in the Kentampa North Municipality, Bonomansu Waterfalls and Bonomansu Vessel in the Nkranza North District. Most of these tourist attractions, unfortunately, remain unknown and underdeveloped, despite their numerous economic benefits to the national treasury. Slave raiders such as Babatu and Samori transported slaves from Salaga to Kunsu Slave Caves before sending them to the Cape Coast and Elmina Castles. This particular spot served as a warehouse for the slave raiders. They say the warehouse had the capacity to accommodate over 1,000 slaves. Mr. Fakasa Kodia is the Kunsu Slave Cave store guide. Where we are now, we are in a slave camp, Diahana. The back of this tree, popularly known as Chen Chen in the Akan language, was used to preserve dead bodies of slaves. This rock, after some rituals and sacrifices performed by the priest of the slave raiders, is said to have moved by itself to cover the entrance of the cave. This also served as the executive lounge for the slave raiders. Where we are now, that is a cave where the buyers, those who buy the sleeves after the marketing, they came or they come to lodge. Residents in Kunsu believe tourism can create jobs for local communities 
where tourists are located to redistribute wealth and income that will promote national unity and cohesion, leading to economic development. After the tour of John Tap Tourist Size, the Bono East Regional Director of the Ghana Tourism Authority, GTA, Mr. Joseph Apieje, called on investors to partner GTA to develop the size. I think we can invite investors to come on board to assist GTA and the community to put the place into a better place for tourists to visit. I think I'm enthused with what I've seen today and moving forward, I will communicate this to head office for them to take action. The Bono East Regional Minister, Mr. Kwesi Edujan, said the region abounds in tourism size that must be harnessed and well packaged to attract both domestic and international tourists. He said his outfits would take the initiative and seek the support of relevant agencies to put the tourist size in the region in good shape. Um, it's a place that I think uh, some value must be added for us to unearth the tourist potentials that exist in this area. We are made to understand that from Salaga, the safe market, they come over here. Um, this is also one of the safe markets, as I'm told. So after they have gone through their negotiations and all that kind of stuff, um, they come here for a while before they move to um, Bonomanso and then on the en route to the castle. Many say the tourism industry is potentially a gold mine for both the larger country and the local authorities and must be properly harnessed. Samia Layama, GBC News. Ladies and gentlemen, it's here we call it quits on the program, The Spotlight. Thanks for watching. And if you did enjoy the program, take the rendezvous for the next edition or visit our website at www.uar aub.org. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. The Spotlight crew joins me in wishing you all the best. Bye for now.